Just got another pair of rifles in from World Tiger Imports. Both were on sale, so I went ahead and jumped on that. I got another M95 long rifle, and that was $249. And I got a Carcano M91 long rifle, and that was only $199. And they marked it as a B grade. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with what I got from just an initial look at them. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at these, starting with the M95. You can see the stock. Looks pretty good. It's got a pretty light color to it. You can see a little bit of wear on the magazine, but not too bad. Not a lot of finish left on the receiver but the marking looks pretty good and I can't make out the acceptance date. Looks pretty worn. And looks like the rear sight is complete. A lot of times it's missing parts. It does look like it has a layer of just hardened grime on it. It does have the screw for the rear band here as well as the sling swivel and it's pretty worn here on the front band and the muzzle looking at the underside there are a few little chips here towards the end see any cracks though a lot of times you see cracks along where the trigger guard is Overall, the stock looks pretty good, though. And turn it over. Starting with the butt on this side, looks pretty good. I don't see any stamps or markings in it. Sometimes you see that big AOI stamp. The serial numbers do match the barrel and the receiver. Does look like a small little hole here. You can see the screw, it looks like it doesn't go all the way through. And there's a little chip or scrape there from the stock. And a lot of the finish is missing, but it does have the stacking rod. Overall, it's pretty smooth. You can see the bolt is just pretty dirty, but it does move pretty well. It does look like the trigger works pretty well. Here is it looks like a small little crack here. I don't know how deep it is. I'll have to examine that when I take it apart. It doesn't look too bad. So overall, this M95 looks pretty good, just really dirty. Um, I did take a peek at the bore. It does look okay as well, but I won't know until I clean it. It is pretty full of, looks to be grease and, and dirt. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. So we'll go ahead and move on to the Carcano. This was advertised as a B grade. Looking at the stock, it looks pretty good. See any cracks or anything? Bolt looks complete. This looks like a tourney arsenal, 1918. Wall looks pretty good. Go ahead and turn it over. Does look like this side of the butt has a bit of a chip in it. You see a little bit of petting here on the receiver. This one definitely got wire wheeled. You can see where there's finish here and 
none over here. Overall looks pretty good though with the wood. Like the metal was wire wheeled. Just kind of a shame because it probably had a pretty good finish. You can see on the underside here, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look to be heavily used. There's a little bit of a chip here, but not gold. You can see here's where they import marked it, right underneath the barrel. So it is. A little less conspicuous and a lot that you see on the receiver. So overall I'm pretty happy with what I got. Both rifles look like they're in pretty good shape. Especially the Carcano for being a B grade. I was expecting something a lot worse than that to come in. So overall for $199 for the Carcano and $249 for the M95. It's a pretty good deal for a mill cert these days. So I'd highly recommend it if you're looking to get one of these. So go ahead and clean these up and I'll post videos on them when I'm done. I'll probably start with the Carcano first and followed by the M95. So if you'd like to be alerted about those, feel free to subscribe and sign up for alerts. If you have any questions about these rifles, feel free to drop them in the comments. As always, thank you for watching.